Hi, welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about trigger on MySQL Workbench. A trigger is a stored program which activates automatically when an event like insert, update, or delete occurs on the associated table. That means the trigger is created on the table. I have already uh, drafted syntax for table. Name is my table. It has a two column ID and name. This table is under uh, database name test. So let's run this syntax. Okay, we have a table and the database here. On the left pane, let's refresh it. We can see here the test database and under table, we can see my table here. And uh, now I'm creating trigger. Click there and right click here and click on auto table. And below we can see here columns, index, foreign keys, and triggers. Click on triggers. So here are six types of triggers before insert, after insert, before update, after update, before delete, after delete. For now, I'm creating before insert. Click here and click on plus sign. Here is a trigger. Actually, I'm using GUI to create the trigger. So I'm here now. Click here and click on apply. Okay, so it says everything here, test, uh, database test, user current user, trigger name is my table before insert. If you wanna change the name, just we can highlight it and we can change the name over here. For now, I'm leaving the name same. So our syntax goes between begin and end. So what I'm doing now, I have a table there, uh, name my table, and there, there, is a, there are two columns, ID and the name. So what I'm doing now, uh, if I insert the new name, then, uh, so if I insert the new name, is null, if there is null in the new name field, then let in new name field mandatory name mandatory okay this is my syntax so if uh, i if i uh, put their null on the name column then there is a message message appears name mandatory so this is the if sentence now i end if it begins the if if statement actually if statement so i am closing the if statement with end if apply now we created the trigger finish it Okay, if we click on the table, then we can see there is a trigger and inside trigger, then we can see my table before insert trigger. So trigger is ready. Now, let's see how, how, how does it work. Go there. Uh, insert. insert into my table so i'm inserting id1 and in the name field i'm putting null i'm not inserting any name so as per there should be values so as per uh, As per our syntax, if there is a name, uh, if there is a null, then there should be the message name mandatory. Okay. 
Now I'm inserting the, inserting the values. It went through. Let's check the table. Select all from my table. Click here. Okay. In the name uh, in the name column, in the field, there is a name mandatory. This happened because of the trigger. Okay, so trigger activates here. Uh, now I am dropping this trigger. Drop trigger. The name of the trigger is. Uh, name of the trigger is my table uh, before underscore insert actually the trigger name is case sensitive so i uh, type everything sm from here my table before insert that's the name of the trigger i'm dropping the trigger now our trigger is trigger is dropped I'm inserting uh, another value. This time the ID will be two, and there is no uh, null is same. So we drop the trigger. That's why there will be no the mess. There will be no message mandatory. Now uh, compile this code. Okay, the data is inserted. Now check the table select all from my table okay in first inserting because of the trigger there the came a message came name mandatory but in second inserting there is no trigger, so whatever we inserted, the same thing came here. In this way, we can create trigger on MySQL workbench with the help of GUI. And other triggers like uh, 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 after insert, before update, after update, before delete, after delete. Uh, I have made other videos. So uh, we'll see you in other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.